Mr. Edmund and Lady Hillary, I'm very honored this afternoon to have been designated by the Canadian government, in the absence of the Prime Minister, uh, to uh, welcome you on behalf of the government to Canada and to uh, tell you how, Sir Edmund, how much we admired uh, your achievement a few months ago in reaching the top of Mount Everest. Uh, most of us, when we try to uh, achieve an objective to get to the top, find that when we reach one peak, there's a higher and a more difficult one beyond. When you got to the top, there was nothing higher beyond. And I suspect that uh, you greeted that certainty with a certain amount of relief. Uh, we appreciate, of course, uh, that it was a collective effort in which men from New Zealand, the United Kingdom, Nepal, and India participated. And I think it was a happy circumstance that the summit was finally achieved by a representative of the East and the West. Uh, all Canadians, I think, shared at that time in the excitement and in the joy of the conquest of Everest. But uh, I think that our only concrete participation in that achievement was the fact that uh, the sleeping bags used in the exp expedition were made in, in Canada. I hope no one will say that makes us a sleeping partner in the expedition. <laughs> in any event, I'm uh, greatly honored at presenting to you uh, this afternoon, on behalf of the government, uh, one of these sleeping bags made in Canada, in the hope that it may be uh, useful to you, if not in your beekeeping avocation, at least in your mountaineering, and as a slight token of a appreciation of your magnificent achievement and of the admiration that, and esteem in which all Canadians hold you. And I would like, Mr. High Commissioner, once again, glad to have the High Commissioner from New Zealand here to welcome two distinguished New Zealanders to our capital. May I then present this to you, sir? It isn't as heavy as it looks. Well, thank you, sir, for this a magnificent gift. On the Everest expedition, the, uh, our equipment, of course, was vitally important. And uh, although, as you say, the only actual piece of equipment that I know of that came from Canada was the sleeping bags, they certainly did a magnificent task. As uh, on the mountain, approximately 60 or 70 percent of your time is actually spent in your sleeping bag. So you do become rather attached to it. This uh, sleeping bag is a very magnificent one and as we're returning to the Himalayas in about two months time I'll take it with me and I feel assured that I'll keep warm the whole time. Thank you.